everyone. Welcome to Foresights with me, Anjali. You're watching the top news for the day. Polarized to Spain eyes the hard right ahead of election. Spain's hard right walks, led by Santiago Abascal, could likely form part of the next government. In Spain, even before the polls do open, there is political frenzy as parties scramble to gain upper hand. Analysts predict that in all probability it would be coalition of the hard right nationalist party, which would be the first time in Spain since the death of the fascist dictator Francisco Franco in 1975. Now, it is either the current center left prime minister and his coalition, including the far left or the coalition with far right Vox party, that the voters have to choose. Temperatures continue to soar in Greece and the country is dealing with dozens of forest fires. Greece is bracing for more intense heat this weekend with meteorologists warning that temperatures could climb as high as 45 degrees Celsius. People have been advised to stay home and tourist sites including Athens' ancient Acropolis will be shut during the hottest parts of the next two days. It could turn into Greece's hottest July weekend in 50 years, one of the country's top meteorologists says. Meanwhile, firefighters are continuing to battle dozens of wildfires. Greece's EU partners have provided help including firefighting planes from France and Italy and more than 200 firefighters from Poland, Slovakia, Romania, and Bulgaria. Neighboring Turkey is also sending some aircraft to help. The latest heat wave comes at one of the busiest times for the country's tourism industry. U.S. President Joe Biden has chosen a woman admiral to lead the U.S. Navy for the first time. Lisa Franchetti, the former head of the U.S. 6th Fleet and U.S. Naval Forces in South Korea, has been nominated to head the Pentagon Military Service Branch. She was nominated by U.S. President Biden and confirmation from the U.S. Senate is awaited. If she is confirmed as Chief of Naval Operations, she will be the first woman to become a member of elite group of senior military officers. Two women stripped, beaten in Bengal's Malda, BJP targets Mamata government, TMC says politicizing issue. Two tribal women were allegedly stripped, naked, tortured and beaten mercilessly in West Bengal's Malta a few days ago and BJP alleged that Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee failed to provide security to women in the state and questioned the police for being mute spectators. Women and Child Development Minister of West Bengal said that this is not an issue to be politicized as it was a case of theft where two women tried to steal something from the market and a group of women tried to take law and order into their hands and started beating them. She also said that police reached the spot and investigation is on. India plans to achieve 500% non-fossil installed capacity by 2030, shares Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi at the G20 Energy Meeting. In a video message to the G20 Energy Ministerial Meeting in Goa, PM Modi said that India plans to achieve 50% non-fossil installed electric capacity target nine years in advance. He emphasized on India's climate commitment and said the country would reach its non-fossil capacity target by the year 2030. He also pointed out that India is among the global leaders in solar and wind power and shared that India is making efforts in green growth and energy transition. Thank you for watching Foresights with me, Anjali. See you all again with latest updates.